Okay guys, let's have a look at question 10 then. We've got the integral of 2x cubed times sine x. Okay, um, so it's a product. Let's just step down. Looks like we're going to have to step down three steps here. 3 to 2 to 1 to ground level. Solve the problem then tie it all back up, yeah? So this will be v and this will be du, won't it? Let's draw our grid. So what have we got then? We've got uh, v is 2x cubed. And then du is sine x. Yeah. And then dv will be 6x squared, won't it? And u will be minus cosine x. Yeah. Okay. So i equals then it will be uv, those two. 2x cubed minus can come to the front. 2x cubed cos x minus the integral of u to v. So that'd be six. the minus can come to be with the other minus. We've got 6x squared cos x dx. So you can write that as minus 2x cubed cosine x plus 6 lots of the integral of x squared cosine x dx. So we're at level 2. Here's step 2, aren't we? We've got the integral of co x squared cos x which is slightly easier in order of difficulty than this one. It's like we've stepped from the third step down to the second step down. So let's uh, circle that then and deal with the sub-problem here. And we'll call that J. And we'll draw a line across the page and write J equals. And we've got the integral of x squared cos x dx, haven't we? Let's draw our grid. So what have we got then? We've got, um, let's do V. And then du. So v is equal to x squared. Uh, du is equal to cosine x. So dv will equal 2x and u will equal sine x from 2. So we can write down the answer to j now. So j equals uv, those two, x squared sine x, minus the integral of u dv. So it'll be two lots of, I'll put that at the front, x sine x dx. Now I'm going to circle that and call that k. So let's circle that and call that k. Now we draw a line across the page and we'll do the k problem now. Good. Right, so let's take that uh, line onto the next page and I've cut and pasted it on the next page j equals x squared sine x minus two lots of this integral here, x sine x dx. So that's what we've got. So let's do that one then. So the k is equal to that. So we've got k equals um, the integral of x sine x dx. Let that be v, let that be du. Draw our grid. Yeah. v is equal to x, du is sine x. So dv will equal 1, and u will equal minus cosine x1 to it. So k is equal to then um, uv, that times that, which is minus x cos x, minus the integral of u dv. Minus is there, so that makes that a plus. 1 times cos x is just cos x dx. So k is equal to then minus x cos x, plus, and the integral cos will be sine x. There's k. Okay, good. So now we can write down the final answer then. So i equals, what have we got? We've got minus 2x cubed cos x plus 6j minus 2x cubed cos x plus 6j and that's equal to the minus 2x cubed cos x plus 6 lots of j and j was equal to x squared sine x minus 2k x squared sine x minus 2k so let's tidy that up first minus 2x cubed cos x expand that bracket plus 6x squared sine x minus 12k and now the last thing then good so that's equal to then minus 2x cubed cosine x plus 6x squared sine x plus uh, minus 12k. Now k is two terms, so I'm going to run the minus 12 through these. Minus times a minus is a plus, so that's plus 12x cos x. 
and then minus 12 lots of sine x, yeah? Plus a constant of integration at the end. Now here is i, so I'll put the plus k there, and then here put plus k, plus k, and then we get our plus k, and there's the final answer. So it's minus 2x cubed cos x, plus 6x squared sine x, plus 12x cos x, minus 12 sine x plus k. So can you see how you had to, we had to step down three steps? We stepped down from, we were three steps away from the solution. We did integration by parts, and we got to something which involved a sub-problem, which was two steps off the solution. We did the sub-problem, and we were still one step away. Then we did that last problem, and we got down to ground level, so to speak, and we could answer the problem. Then we had to piece all the pieces back up together, didn't we? This is a lowercase k here, just a constant of integration. Put j in, j was also a k, I put k in, and then we got unraveled it all, we got the final answer. Bit of a rigmarole, but that's the process, and we needed to go down those three steps. So that's that one done then? Good. Let's go on to the next one. Great.